Bitcoin 64K, but please check this as soon as possible. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, of course, talking about the Telegram news, because yes, I am born to be free, also free to have an opinion and also to have a free speech. But there are some things happening in this world that's not good. I'm going to talk about that in the news. Of course, sharing amazing charts. Yes, we reached 64K, but could there be a surprise? I'm going to share a beautiful chart that shows you. And yes, of course, an inspirational quote at the end, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the news first, because it's very important to talk about freedom. Last weekend, guys, the CEO of Telegram has been arrested in France. He has been arrested because he doesn't comply with Telegram to all the requests of opening up the complete database of chats to the governments. He wants privacy. Telegram should be an encrypted privacy chat possibility for all people out there to use it. And it should be encrypted and private. And that's why we have started to use Telegram instead of WhatsApp. But now the government is forcing Telegram to also open up all those chat and all those groups to the government so that they can check who is chatting about what. And of course, that all is under the cover of like, ah, it's to go uh, against terrorism and all that stuff. But that's not the truth. The truth is that the governments want to know everything you talk about, everything you know and everything that you do. They want to manipulate you, not only through the media, but also through your WhatsApp services and also to Facebook and all other social platforms. They just want to be in control. And that is now why the CEO of Telegram was arrested in France because he doesn't want to comply. There's more people that don't want to comply. Elon Musk is also not complying. So he's going to be probably the next target. Of course, they want to stop Elon Musk as well in his freedom revolution over there at X, guys. What do we think about it? That's my question to you guys. Comment that down below. I want to know what you think. For me, this is completely, completely crazy. I think, and I really believe, and I really stand for, that I'm born to be free, and I have always the right of freedom of speech. So what is happening in the UK now, people being arrested for sharing their opinion on social media, I think that's against freedom of speech. The CEO of Telegram now being arrested in France, that's against freedom of speech. The CEO of Rumble, the other video platform that I also upload my videos to, is fleeing Europe. He left Europe because he also is afraid of the government being against freedom of speech. I don't like that. I am a freedom of speech person. The moment I'm not allowed anymore to say on social media what I want to say, what is then the need of social media? Why would you then still be doing these videos? I want to be able to give my opinion in my way on a platform that I choose. But now those platforms are being killed. Of course, there's always one platform that stands out at the moment and that is not being killed, and that's Nostr, N-O-S-T-R. I know a lot of people have heard about it, but Nostr is a, a completely different way of social media. Yes, it works the same like X, and yes, you can do your posts and your videos, everything on there, but it's like more like a protocol. So it's not like a platform that they can stop, like Telegram or X or Facebook or Instagram. It's more like a protocol, like HTTPS or like any other protocol that's unstoppable. And Nostr has different clients. I'm using the Damus client, so you can uh, download that one in the App Store. Damus, Damus, Nostro, Damus. So that one I'm using. And then you just open a profile, you check, and they follow me there as well. Because before you know it, all those people that are fighting for free speech, uh, of course, all their accounts will be closed in the future. And then uh, we lose uh, our connection to our subscribers, followers, and everything else. So also follow me on Nostr, because that one is fighting really hard for freedom of speech. I really don't like what I see happening, guys. I, I, it's like terrible to see this happening to Europe and all the Western society. That's why I'm as soon as possible moving to Thailand to feel completely free, happy, 
and being able to speak about whatever I want to speak. Yes, I know for all those comments, like, yeah, Thailand, you cannot speak negative about the king. Why would I want to speak negative about the king? I love Thailand as a country. I love how they are pre-Bitcoin, pre-blockchain now. So for me, there is no use to speak negative. There is only use to speak negative about governments and kings and queens in the Western society where your brain is being raped every day and brainwashed to become one of those sheep that needs to listen to those people over there, that 1% of the rich people in the Western world. I am not going to comply. I am not a person to live in that centralized social credit system that's going to lock you up in any kind of way if you do something wrong. If you do a wrong Facebook post, or if you spend too much money to alcohol, or if you give too much money to the nations that they don't want you to donate to. I don't know what the Western world is doing, but this is really not my world anymore. I don't want to live here anymore. I want to spend time in a country at the moment that is a little bit more normal, where I can freely move around, freely speak about what I want, and I not will be arrested if I say something on X or Facebook about a pandemic or a pandemic or a COVID or a flu birth or whatever monkeypox or of whatever way of killing freedom of speech, whatever it is. I really don't agree with this. We are all born to be free. Nobody is there to decide what I say or what I can't say. I will decide what I say and what I want to say. Nobody else should be able to decide what I can or can't say. It's my opinion. Am I allowed to have an own opinion? Or do I only need to have the opinion of the government that they have? Or the mass media that they have? Or that 1% elite that wants to be in control? Do I, can, I, can I only share their opinion? Where is then the power of social media? I think we collectively should fight against this. We collectively should fight for the freedom of these guys. For the freedom of the CEO now, for example, of Telegram. I don't even understand why we accept this as human beings. What can we do to change this? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm really thinking very hard every day. How can we attack those people that want to attack our freedom in any kind of way? And how can we attack them in a very positive, peaceful way? Not fighting, in a peaceful way. And you already know my answer, but I want to hear it from you out of your mouth. Because the answer is very simple. The moment we keep using their currencies, they will be in control. The moment we start to use our currency, we will be in control. As long as we keep feeding them through the users of dollar and euros, they will keep playing their games and they will stay in control because they have the control of the amount of how many dollars and euros will be printed. They will be in control forever if you keep using those euros and those dollars. It becomes time that you start to understand this message behind Bitcoin, not just the Lamborghini mentality. Understand the message behind Bitcoin that if you start to use Bitcoin as your core capital and withdraw all those funds out of that other economy and start to fill up your Bitcoin wallet, that is the moment we are slowly taking back control in a very peaceful, anarchistic way. That is what everyone should start to understand. Bitcoin is not just making money. Bitcoin is a peaceful revolution. It's the gateway to freedom in any kind of way. That is why all your capital should be in Bitcoin. If, you're, if you receive your salary, withdraw, put in Bitcoin. If you sell a house, the overvalue, withdraw from your bank, put in Bitcoin. All your capitals should be in Bitcoin. Collectively, we should collectively withdraw all the money from the banks that we own which of course is not possible because the money is not, uh, is not there anymore. And it's only like, uh, like 3 to 5% of the money that is represented on the banks is like only available in cash. But even those 3%, withdraw them, put them in Bitcoin. And the rest, digital, buy Bitcoin digital. Don't even withdraw it, just buy Bitcoin. Empty the euro and US dollar bank accounts and buy as much as possible Bitcoin. That is the peaceful revolution of Bitcoin against that centralized control system that wants to get more and more and more control. Then they won't be able to do those crazy steps anymore. Put your investment in this industry that is decentralizing the world, decentralizing social media, decentralizing projects, that are decentralizing all kinds of facets of the world. Put your investments there. Don't put your investments again in the BlackRock 
or any kind of these physical companies tied to BlackRock, they just want to have more control, it's time that we all wake up and start to put the money where our mouth is. Not only talk about Bitcoin, you know, you know the expression? Not talk to talk, but walk to walk. That, that's what we did as a family. We didn't only talk to talk, oh yeah, we love Bitcoin, oh we like Bitcoin, oh Bitcoin is the game. No, we started to walk the walk. We emptied our bank accounts, we closed our bank accounts, we are all in a Bitcoin and I never want to use a bank account ever again. That is walking the walk and we all collectively should start to walk the walk so that we win this peaceful revolution in a very peaceful, harmful way but that we as people slowly get back the control that we deserve. And why deserve? Because we are choosing our politicians based on what they promise us, but they never do what they promise. So then we should be also to choose for ourselves. We will run the show now in a peaceful anarchistic way on a decentralized blockchain, do proposals and voting. We will collectively pay the police and all the other stuff that now is paid from the taxes because we are paying too much taxes for what they are doing. The rest of those taxes goes into wars. We don't wars. Do you want wars? We don't want wars. We don't want to fight. We want a beautiful world that consists out of love and people that love each other. So why do we still trust those people that just want wars? Why do we keep supporting them? Why do we keep giving them money? Using their money, why? I really don't understand. This is going against complete freedom of speech, complete against all my norms and values. But this video is now getting really, really long. So I will uh, jump now into the charts, guys, uh, to show you what is happening to Bitcoin. And maybe then you understand that you should be buying Bitcoin, not only for the Lamborghini mentality, but also to support this peaceful revolution, guys. Now, let's jump into the charts. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see a sell signal over there, also uh, reaching that uh, huge area of resistance. The candle are closing now down below the yellow stepping line. This is the first candle that will close down below it. If a candle closes down below the yellow stepping line, that's uh, of course the ultimate uh, signal of taking your profits from that long that you took over there. Normally, you can also take it when you see the sell signal, that would be like just being happy with your profit. This is waiting, maybe we bounce above it and then go to this level of 65K over there. Uh, if not, then we close this candle down below it, then uh, take your profits. And yes, that yellow line is the massive area of support at the moment. That's the dog and the bad guys. That uh, if we hold that, that's very positive. But I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to show you more about this, guys. If you want to have access to these indicators, go to the bitcoinfamily.com to the website and search for the VIP package. Uh, on the weekly chart, we can see that I told you this large wick will lead to an upward movement, and that's exactly what we see. The last candle uh, opened at 58, it closed at 64. So that's uh, almost a 6K profit in one candle in one week, guys, just if you would have listened and bought 6K on one Bitcoin. This candle just opened and is gonna close in six days. Let's see, the resistance is this green line. Uh, we need to break that as soon as possible. That's the 50 weekly moving average. If we break that, guys, that would be very positive and it would lead to a little bit more push all the way to that 100K level within this year. But that means the ultimate bull market top then would still be in 2025 and yeah, much higher than that 100K level. If you find resistance in here, we won't push to 80, 90K levels, for example, this year, then we know that the top next year will be between 120 and 100, around 60,000 US dollar. Simple as that. That's my opinion, of course, and it's no financial advice, but just somebody has been in the industry for a long time and thinks to know what he's doing and saying. Now let's quickly jump into some more charts to show you those as well, because they are very important at the moment. And that is the first one is this one. This one, you can see how important that line at the moment is. Uh, that line is a huge area of resistance, as you can see, and then it turns into support. So it was the top of uh, the previous bull market, it was resistance, and it's turning in support, and again, we're holding that support. This is looking just very bullish to me. Like the moment we keep holding the support of this line, and it's a 50 to 60K level line, then uh, this is very important and very bullish because that's building a lot of carriage, a lot of like support over here now, which will be probably also the bottom of the next bull market. So it could be that the next bull market won't go lower than 60K again, which normally doesn't happen as well because the halvings and this halving was 63K, we have never gone down below a halving level before guys. Now, next chart, uh, this is a very important one, the Bitcoin price temperature. On this one, you can see that when the temperature goes to higher than eight levels over here, 
or a level over there or for example six level at a double top that is when the top is in here at those levels that's when the top of the bull market was in at six for example when we had that double top last time we are now at two we are higher than two we still need to become higher than six or even eight to be able to tell you that the bull market top is in and then these this black line will be somewhere in this area of the red and orange line over there so this is between 120 and 160k so i believe when this black line the price of bitcoin goes to those levels 120 to 160 this bitcoin price temperature will be above six and that is a moment that we will be telling you hey it is time to take profit now on this chart you can see exactly where we are at the moment we have the 2014 to 17 bull market we have the 2018 to 21 bull market and we have the 2022 to 2025 bull market uh, all these bull markets are in line now with each other uh, we can of course very clearly see i will put it here and you can see who made this chart over there uh, and you can see very clearly now that we are at this level here in september we still have this ahead of us a complete year of bullishness that is what we're gonna see from October this year October 2024 all the way till December 2024 will be a complete year of bullishness will there be a January dip just like there was a January dip over here and over there yes I believe in January there is always a dip but it's not the end it's again gonna be the next push to a higher high and again another higher high that is what we're going to see in the next 12 months. So you should be buying Bitcoin at these prices because you're going to double your investment within now and 12 months. Then we have the last chart that is also telling you the same story. 2011, 2013, that was the first bull market, the shorter one, 2014 to 17, four years, 2018 to 21, four years, 2022 to 25, again, four years. We are now here on the half of 2024, going into 2025 and that will be the second steepest part of the bull market i can't make it more simple than that and maybe i could have done it with my face on the right place but there now you get 10 seconds to watch it without my face being in the charts guys so it's very simple that is what i expect now from those bull markets now the last chart is showing the tops and the bottoms of each run 29 was the top two dollar was the bottom 12 dollar was the halving $1,200 top, $200 bottom, $650 was the halving. 20 k was the top, 3 k was the bottom, 8 k was the halving. 67 k was the top, 15 k let 16 k was the bottom, and now we are at 67 k just past the halving. Now look to those dotted red lines, the halving. Did we go up after this, or did we go down? We went up. What did we do after this halving? Over here, did we go up? Or did we go down we went massively up what we did we do after this halving we went massively up so what we are going to do after this halving i know already you still need to understand and believe that we are going to do exactly the same that we have always been doing go massively up i hope you really enjoyed those charts today guys yes short term beautiful volatility again i'm also in profit with uh, my trade like you can see over there uh, of course the bot also making profits at the moment the balance on the account is i think 1.21 bitcoin you can see over here amazing times to trade bitcoin but in the long term guys just like i've shown you on the chart on the long term we are just getting started 2025 will be the bull market year the real real bull market year that banana year the year that we will go up bam like this in the curve I believe we will go between 120 and 160k so it's in between two to three times uh, the price that we are at the moment which is an amazing return on investment if you ask me in the next 12 months where else can you make a two to three times in 12 months 100k becoming 200 to 250k maybe even 300k and if you look at all the other ogs in this industry that are still saying maybe even 500k that would be even more beautiful but let's be happy with 120 160k and everything that is more of course it's beautiful but the happiness should already be in doubling your capital within the next 12 months guys now that was everything about the charts now let's jump into the last part of the video as the video probably is going to get too long guys I, i'm not going to do a too long inspirational quote but the inspirational quote for today is don't postpone all those things that you want to do now because you think that you can buy them in the future that's terrible terrible mindset maybe there won't be a future 
or maybe there won't be a freedom future, or maybe something will happen into your life that you won't be able to do it anymore in the future. Don't postpone. Do it now. Do it today. If you want to change your life, if you want to live a freedom life, if you want to travel the world, if you want to climb the Kilimanjaro, if you want to sail around the world, whatever it is, do it today. Don't postpone. Postpone to when? You never know if there will be a future that you think that there will be. My mother died when she was 48. She just collapsed in the kitchen. She was gone. She had future plans. Bam, gone. My father realized at 59 that he had cancer for one year and he would die at 60 years old. All the future plans, gone. Don't plan too much for the future. You never know what your future might be. You should be living that life that you want to live now, in the moment, at this moment, today. And if you want your kids to be able to live that kind of future as well, you should also be spending some time in protecting the freedom in any kind of way in our lives. Freedom of speech, freedom of opinion, freedom of doing whatever we want, freedom of using money, freedom of using Bitcoin, freedom of using whatever it is. We should collectively be protecting this for the future of our next generations. Yes, of course, our life is important. Yes, of course, our futures are important, but also those of the ones that we leave behind. And the ones we're gonna leave behind, please, let us not leave behind a social credit prison system for our children, so that they at that time will say, Dad, Mom, why didn't you fight for freedom? Let's not do that. Let's have them say in the future, I'm so happy, Mom and Dad, that you fought for our freedom, that we still are able to do and live a life the way we want to live a life. It's very important that you live the life that you want to live now, at the same time, protect that freedom right for your children in the future. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. I wish you an amazing week. It was the start of the week on this beautiful Monday. Yes, a little bit of a long video. I wish you an amazing week and hopefully see you tomorrow again in a shorter video. Bam.